Hey guys, so I wanted to walk you through the new version of Malwarebytes. I actually downloaded and installed this yesterday. Um, and I noticed right off the bat that it doesn't give you the option to opt out of the premium version trial. Uh, you have to do that after it's installed. It's in the settings. It gives you the option to go from the uh, premium trial just to the free version. Now you notice a lot of new things going on with the new version of Malwarebytes and the biggest biggest thing is the interface and that Malwarebytes now boast that this version is uh, an all out replacement for your antivirus. So as you can see up here if you have the premium version you get web protection, exploit protection, malware protection and ransomware protection. Now, these two they sell separately at $24 a piece. Um, the new version of Malwarebytes 3.0, this one actually, it's $40 per computer per year. And like I said, it's an all out replacement for your antivirus. Malwarebytes finally did it after years and years of texts and various people messaging and messaging and messaging, and then they have finally. Uh, turn Malwarebytes into an antivirus. Um, now for those of you who may be worried, um, Malwarebytes says that it will still run side by side with any program that you already have installed. It won't conflict with anything, but you can use it as a standalone antivirus program, um, which is extremely nice and a lot of us have pushed for that for years. Uh, when I used to work for Geek Squad, we would often get in trouble for using Malwarebytes because um, it wasn't on the approved list, which now it is. Um, I no longer work there, but Malwarebytes is one of the three scanners that Geek Squad uses in running their scans. They use Malwarebytes, Kaspersky, and Webroot. Now, let's do a little walkthrough of all the settings over here. Now, under Scan, you can still do your threat scan and a custom scan with the free version but to enable the hyper scan you have to purchase the premium of course you have your quarantine section your reports now if you go under settings we'll go over here to application um, you can see there's a lot more options here than there used to be but a lot of it's just your standard basic stuff updates notifications things like that uh, protection something that you'll want to do by default when you install this uh, scan for root kits is off uh, you'll want to make sure that if you install this that you go to settings protection and that you come down here and you enable scan for root kits um, I'm sure they disable that by default because it extends the scan time which Malwarebytes boasts that the scan engine on this version is much much quicker than previous versions. Out. Um, let's scroll down and look at the rest of these settings. Uh, potential threat protection and scans for pups and for modifications, which is extremely nice. So if anything goes through and tries to change your proxy settings or anything like that, Malwarebytes would catch it. Um, it's very very nice. Uh, your update settings, which of course is premium only. Um, startup options premium only and automatic quarantine and of course then you have your standard typical scheduled scans exclusions so that if there's any specific folder that you do not want scanned you can add it to this and Malwarebytes will bypass it and of course my account which you can see your subscription status which I'm just running the standard free version and as you can see it never expires and then you have the about which gives you just a few links and information about your version um, quick note the ransomware protection that they have on here is still in beta this is the ransomware protection that you can download from their site um, that they're still working on still work in progress but it's still a very very nice touch to this because not many antivirus programs out there have ransomware protection built in and ransomware protection ransomware accounts for currently around 30 percent of uh, attacks in the US and that's a huge amount and it's it's ridiculous and if you do not know what ransomware is 
ransomware is a type of infection that when it gets on your computer it encrypts all of your data all your pictures all of your files everything on there it encrypts it to where you can no longer access it without a specific key and what they do is they try to hold it ransom so that you can so that you send them money and oftentimes even if you do send them the outrageous amount of money that they're asking for you're still not going to have access to your data there are tools out there that can help decrypt it but it's never a hundred percent guaranteed you're going to get any of your data back but I hope that you really enjoyed this overview of the new version of Malwarebytes I wanted to try to get it out there they just released this I believe on the 8th so it was yesterday uh, I've been seeing it all over social media it's a real big deal um, it was it's actually kinda of funny this got released about eight hours after I finished with a 30 hour a remote virus removal for a customer um, I, I wish I had known that because now that person no longer has the most up-to-date version of Malwarebytes because you cannot update to this through simply opening up Malwarebytes and updating to install this you actually need to go to the Malwarebytes website and download the latest version and that's how you're gonna get this I'll put the links in the description uh, be sure to check that out. If you want to help support me in the channel, be sure to check out my Patreon account or you can support me directly through PayPal, which would be amazing. It helps support all of the different projects I would like to do. Um, it also helps support uh, being able to donate computers to needy families. Um, also, if you want to help out in another way, you can always print out some coupons by, or, or use any of my other affiliate links down in there in the description and print out some coupons, save some money, and it'll help support me. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. A lot of you aren't hitting that like button. I, I really need that, guys. It really does help me out if you hit that like button. Um, leave a comment, subscribe, and <laughs> you probably hear my kids in the background. Thanks very, very much, guys. I'll catch you later.